Hey my friend, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video I'm going to show you three different ways that you can rewrite PLR using Jarvis, and I'm also, uh, at the end, I'm going to show you the actually the best way to use PLR with Jarvis, because uh, just rewriting PLR with Jarvis is not actually the best way to use your PLR with Jarvis. Um, if you want to do that, that's fine, and I am going to show you three different ways that you can do that in this video. Um, but if you want to use your PLR, what I think is the best way with Jarvis, I'm going to show you how to do that at the end as well. And uh, if you need some PLR, if you don't have any and you need some to work with, uh, I've got a deal with PLR.me, which is this website right here. Um, and if you sign up for uh, a PLR.me account with my affiliate link, which is in the description of this video, you'll get 10 free credits to start. And then you'll also get two free credits a month just for uh, being a free member on their website. And so the PLR that I'm going to be working with today, I downloaded from PLR.me and uh, it actually only cost one credit for this document called Six Online Marketing Tactics to Increase Your Sales. And it's a three page document. It only cost one credit so I could get another one with my two monthly credits and you could get like 10 of these with the um, 10 free credits that you can get just for signing up for an account using my affiliate link. All right, um, now, and you might be wondering why you would want to rewrite PLR. Why don't you just say use it as is? Um, well, you might want to customize it, or if you want to use it like um, online as web content or on your blog, then it's not a good idea to republish it exactly as is, because if anyone else does that, then you would have the exact same content as them on your website. Um, so you always want to rewrite it, especially if you are going to publish it online. Um, so I've started a new document here in Jarvis, and uh, I just gave it the title of the PLR that I have. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that title. And so I mentioned that there's I'm, I'm going to show three different ways to do this. And I'm actually going to show you three ways that use the three different pricing tiers of Jarvis. So on Jarvis, we have... Um, starter which just gives you access to the templates which are these and on Jarvis we also have uh, Pro Unlimited which then gives you access to the long form composer and then we also have boss mode which is uh, when you do inline commands and so there's uh, each of the three ways that I'm going to show uh, for rewriting PLR use one of these tiers. So if you're on boss mode, you can do all three. If you're on pro limited, you'll be able to do two. If you're on starter, you'll just be able to do the first one. Um, so we'll start off with the one that works on starter. So basically you just go into your templates. And so we'll start with the title. Um, so we will find the template called perfect headline, which is right here. And I've already, I tested this out a little bit. So we've got, you can see the title of the PLR, six online marketing tactic to increase your sales. So I just put that into the product description and I put my name for the company name and uh, customer avatar is people who want to make money online. And then we're just gonna generate some content. And this just usually takes a few seconds um, for it to spit out some ideas. And then here we've got, let's see, the five best ways to find new customers online. That could be a big, that could be a good title. Um, the top four secrets of successful viral marketing campaigns. That could be a good title. Uh, six online. That one is just kind of the same. So there's, there's lots of good trap, uh, title ideas here. Not all of them are the exact, uh, mean the exact same thing as the one that we have, but we could use uh, a lot of these. I think I like this one right here. I'm just going to say six. So it's the same number. And I'll copy this and then come back to my focus mode. And I'm just going to put this in here to change the title. And so now we have our own title for uh, our rewritten document. And you can do this with uh, body copy as well. So I'll open the templates back up and I'll open up PAS framework. And I'm just going to come back to the, uh, back to the document the PLR and I'm going to copy the first two little paragraphs here and I'm going to paste them right into product description in POS 
and then uh, the company product name is just make money with online marketing or we'll actually put these right in or this title right in here so that the that'll be the product name and the product description will just be the content that we want to rewrite and then we will generate uh, two outputs and um, so even though I'm not really using this correctly like I'm not putting a product description in, I'm not putting a product name in um, Jarvis is still going to read this and do its best to rewrite it and, and do a uh, problem agitate solution framework um, so you can see we've got a few examples of those here and I could use one of these probably as an intro so we've got um, making money online can be very difficult but there are ways to make it easier when you're just starting out with your business or if you've been around for a while and want to increase sales online marketing strategies will help you achieve this if done right they can really boost your bottom line These six simple strategies will show you how to use the power of social media and other channels effectively. You don't need any special skills or knowledge in order to do this. In fact, most people find them incredibly easy, so there is no reason not to give it a try. So you can use POS and AIDA for this. You can use the content improver for this. I tested that. Um, and uh, you, you can use a lot of different frameworks, and just uh, you don't have to use them exactly as the book says to do it. Um, you can just put in whatever you want rewritten and it'll rewrite it as it's supposed to put the output. Um, so that's how you can use templates. And again, if, if you were doing like a blog post, um, you know, you could use blog post outline and you could just, we could put our title, which we rewrote using a different template right in here and just generate some uh, some blog post outlines and that would make it a lot easier as we're moving along and rewriting but let's uh, move along to the second way now so the second way that we can rewrite PLR is with uh, the long-form composer the long-form writing assistant and so I'm just going to come back here to this page and get a little bit more PLR I'll just get this paragraph right here or actually I'll get these two paragraphs so I have a little bit more to work with and paste that in there and the space back all right so these are the two new paragraph these this is my my original content that Jarvis wrote for me and these are the two new paragraphs that I copied from the PLR so I just need to highlight it one paragraph at a time and click on rephrase and you might need to, uh, after you click it once, then you can, if it's good, you click on the check mark. If you want to copy it, you click on copy text. And if you want to try again, then you click try again. Um, and so let's say maybe it's not good enough. And maybe this one is good. So we'll hit the check mark. And then we highlight the next paragraph and rephrase. I don't think that's a very good one. Oops, here we go. And that one's good, so there we go. And now we've got the beginnings of a, uh, a solid document coming together here. So those are the first two ways. You've got using templates to rewrite it a piece at a time, and then we've got using the, uh, the rephrase function of the long form assistant to write it a piece at a time. And then we can basically do the exact same thing with boss mode. So uh, I'll get another paragraph. We'll just take this paragraph right here. And this is, because uh, the, the truth is boss mode is basically just the ability to use uh, templates in line. Um, and you can obviously make the template whatever you want on the fly. So that's the power of boss mode. But uh, in order to think about how it works, it's basically just the same as using a template. So I can say, rewrite the above paragraph as a PAS and hit control enter. And now it rewrites the above paragraph as a problem agitate solve. Um, but that's not all I can do. 
I can also do something like this. Rewrite the above paragraph as Joe Rogan. Okay, that's not what I wanted. So uh, that happens once in a while. So if you, if you do a boss mode command and it doesn't work properly, you can just click this button right here and that erases the last output and redoes the uh, command. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. That time it rewrote it properly. Um, so you just need to go through piece by piece and uh, use boss mode to execute different commands that you want um, on each paragraph. So basically, no matter how you do it, let's see, another one that we can do is rewrite the above as a personal anecdote. I'm a huge fan of affiliate marketing. I have been for years. And so you see, when you, when you, the advantage of doing boss mode like this over just using the content improver every time is that you can be specific about what you want it to write. So I just said, make it a pers personal anecdote. And now I have this like personal seeming story to replace this paragraph. And now we have, let's see, uh, almost 300 words uh, written already from this PLR. And if I were to go through this entire thing I would, and do this, I would probably have at least a thousand words of unique original content. Um, so there you go. Those are three ways to rewrite PLR with, uh, with Jarvis. But like I said, um, it's not the most effective way to use your PLR with Jarvis. So I'm just gonna delete this and we'll keep this title. So now let's say, let's say I got the same piece of PLR uh, this six online marketing tactics to increase your sales and I want to make this go as far as possible so we've got six online marketing tactics to increase your sales that is one topic so I rewrote that headline to this headline make money with these simple strategies I'm gonna copy that again I'm gonna open the templates back up and I'm gonna go to uh, blog post outline put it in here and generate content all right um, now I have a outline for this and I can take you know multiple I can take both of them and just like take the best ones from each so say I like uh, so that, that is not a way to make money online or yeah, that's not a way to make money at all. It's a way to save money. Um, find your niche and start blogging about it. Invest in stocks, also not really a way of making money. So, I mean, technically you make money, but it's a way of appreciating your current money, not making new money. Um, create an online store on Shopify or Etsy. Get paid for taking surveys, that's legit. Sell unwanted items on eBay, Craigslist, or Facebook Marketplace, there you go. We already have start a blog, create an app. That's a good one. We already have Etsy. Offer to do other people's chores for money. Yeah, these aren't technically online. It's just money-making strategies. Rent out your car, house, or spare room. Have a yard sale. All right, so we've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we can call this eight. All right, so I just got... I now have a blog post headline and a blog post outline, and I could easily write this outline with Jarvis into a entire blog post. And I got that just from the headline, but guess what? We could, uh, what's the headline here again? Or let's just use this one. Um, let's just use this one and go back to perfect headline. And so we'll take this, put this here, and we will generate some content. And so whatever it gives us, it's definitely gonna give us a few good ideas. Uh, the fastest way to get traffic and sales on autopilot. That's a good title idea for a blog. So we can take that one. We can go back to blog post outline, put this in here and generate content. Then put this down here, 
make it an H1 as well. So now we have two title ideas that we just got from re from using Jarvis on the original title to make new ones. And now I have an outline for um, for this one as well. All right. Um, so you could do this all day long. You could literally just generate new headline ideas based on one headline that you got from PLR. And then you could generate outlines for them. And then you could write articles based on those outlines. And you could do all that in Jarvis um, as long as you have the Pro Unlimited plan um, or greater. And you would just need that one headline. But you can also take each of these tips. So um, let's see. We have, so let's go to a different one because we've already been working with these. Um, create a YouTube channel. All right, so let's go back to a perfect headline. So I'm going to say create a YouTube channel. I'm going to come back here, create a YouTube channel. Actually, I'm just going to take this whole paragraph. Take this whole paragraph, put it into my product description. Um, and then generate content. And so I've just taken a little chunk of, um, just taken a little tiny chunk of the PLR. And again, I'm going to turn it into multiple headlines. Here's a good one. How to create a YouTube channel that makes you money. All right, I'm going to go to blog post outline, plug this in here, generate content. Put it here, make it an H1. Now I've got three blog post ideas with outlines that I, I got from a fraction of a one credit PLR document. And again, you can, with my, uh, with my affiliate link for PLR.me, you can get 10 credits. So you could, you could literally spend like a week or even a month just using the free PLR that you get plus Jarvis to generate all the blog post ideas that you need and write them uh, on a certain topic. And it would just be whatever topic uh, your PLR was on. All right, so that's, that's what I see is the best way to use uh, PLR and Jarvis together. Again, you can just rewrite PLR with Jarvis like, uh, like a lot of people talk about using one of the three ways that I mentioned. But um, I think that the most powerful thing you can do with PLR is just use it to give Jarvis initial inputs and then let Jarvis do the rest. And you can see I wasn't really doing any work. I could have been sitting here sipping coffee if I wasn't talking and uh, just you know clicking around, copy and pasting some stuff. And But I've got three good blog titles with blog outlines to go along with them. And it wouldn't take that much longer to write those into actual articles of a thousand words or more. Um, so anyways, that is how to rewrite PLR with Jarvis and how to generate content ideas and outlines using Jarvis from PLR. I hope you find that helpful and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.